Hello, parlez-vous français? I'm Vicki Eisenstein, and today we're in Old Town Pasadena at Creme de la Crepe, a lovely little French restaurant. So, Johan, can you tell us a little bit about the history of Creme de la Crepe? Creme de la Crepe has been created by, uh, by my best friend. His name is Bruno. Mm -hmm. uh, so, he created the, the, the first restaurant in Hermosa Beach. Okay. And he created like, a, like the menu, the, uh, the atmosphere, everything. You know. So, now you're friends from France? Yes, yeah, okay. he's, he's from uh, the, the French Alps, you know, oh. near, near Italy. Okay, yeah, And uh, he's area. from uh, a family who are all, everybody get a restaurant. Oh, wow. So he moved to, to the United States, you no, know, he has nothing. Mm -hmm. And step by step, he became a busboy and a waiter and a manager. Wow. And he saved so uh, pretty much pretty That's good really money. That's really admirable, yeah. That's American dream. Yeah, definitely. So then, is all of his inspiration, did he study at a particular culinary school or just did he learn from his family and the from restaurant he worked From his family. In? Oh, okay. Just, just like feeding. Okay, yeah. so then are all these, um, all of these recipes that you're using here, are they all his? That's more like his mother. Mm -hmm. Now his mother is a manager of the, uh, our location in Long Beach. Oh, okay, So gotcha. his mother brought a lot, you know, like mm -hmm. real, real French cuisine. Okay, so this is really authentic French cuisine that you're oh, serving yes. here. Yes. Completely. Now, when Americans think of French cuisine, we think of wine, we think of cheese. Is there, do you have particular recommendations and brands that you use here? So first, wine, cheese, uh, like a French bread, is not a stereotype, it's real. It's real, know? okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's real. Uh, like in France, um, I've, like a meal start all the time with a little appetizer. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we have uh, some, uh, some meat and mm -hmm. then some fish. Just okay. between maybe a little cup of champagne, oh. and we have dessert, and then the cheese, and then just to, oh. to clean the palate, we have like strong alcohol, but just a little bit. Oh, so that that cheese and the alcohol that comes after the meal. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so now if I'm just your regular American and I come into this restaurant and I want to seem like I'm an expert in French cuisine, is there a certain way that I should order? Are there certain terms that I should know? Just ask the waiter if he has some uh, escargot. If he has escargot. Or some okay. uh, cuisse de grenouille, that means frog legs. Oh, wow. Can, how do you pronounce that? Cuisse de grenouille. Cuisse de grenouille. Almost. <laughs> Almost, okay. Almost. So now, can you explain a little bit about your cooking methods and what, what is special to French cuisine? I think it's just like um, we have so many kinds mm -hmm. of, of, of meal. Because mm -hmm. uh, like France is like this, you have uh, Spain here, mm -hmm. you have Italy here, you have Switzerland, yeah. you have Germany, you have mm -hmm. Belgium, and England is not too far. So we have France is like a melting pot of, wow. of uh, inspiration for the, uh, for the cuisine. So I noticed over there you have some bottles that actually have a creme de la crepe brand on them. Do you, do you sell something? Yes, we have um, uh, our uh, own label. Mm -hmm. uh, for the for the champagne, mm. this is from uh, from uh, Italy. Oh, it's a very okay. good, very good uh, house champagne. So, can you tell me a little bit about why you chose to open a restaurant here in Pasadena? Uh, we started uh, the the fourth first restaurant mm -hmm. in uh, uh, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, Redondo the Beach, and Long Beach, and we have even one more in uh, in Culver City, and mm -hmm. we're just thinking about like uh, something more challenging. Uh, Okay. You know, and Pasadena is talking about a restaurant and quality of restaurants is amazing. Okay. And we just found this place in, a, in this small alley. Yeah, it's really cute. It's, it's kind of quaint and almost folksy. It looks here. like friends. When, exactly. When people sit on the uh, outside, you know, mm -hmm. especially when we have the, the music, you know, we have a, yeah. like a Friday night and Saturday night, we have a music, like live music. All right. Well, I'll definitely come by at some point to try all this. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for doing an interview with us, Johan. It was no great problem. talking to you. My <laughs> pleasure. Today was gastronomically amazing. From that salmon to the duck to that raspberry tart, everything was just so delicious. I really do not know how Johan stays that skinny. Anyway, if you're interested in trying this food, you should definitely come out to 36 West Colorado Boulevard, right on Mills Alley between the Equator and Jake's Burger Place. It's simply to die for. And I'm gonna finish it off with this lovely Italian espresso, which is how I hear everyone in France finishes their meal. So, buon appetit, see you next time.